When we are afraid of failing, we come up with a story about how it's not our fault or how we're going to do it in the future. I remember lying down in the middle of the road and I'm like, oh, God, like right now. Rise and shine, it's Espresso time. What's up, Believe Nation? It's Evan, I believe in you, and this channel is designed to be a part of your daily success routine. So let's start your day off right together. Grab your coffee and sip on today's message. Change your story. Over to you, Tony Robbins. Also, if you wanna know what Tony and other successful entrepreneurs have to say about building unstoppable confidence, check out my 254 Confidence Series, where every day for the next 254 days, I will send you a morning video for free to help you build your confidence. The link to join is in the description below. The fact that human beings, our strongest drive is the need to stay consistent with how we define ourselves. So while you're in this passionate state, that's where you make decisions. So if you want to change your life, my friends, you got to change your physiology and you got to change your focus. I wake up every morning. Espresso, keep me going. I wake up every morning. How to do something is the wrong sequence to start with. Like, what's the strategy for being fit and healthy? It's not that complex, and yet 70% of the U.S. is overweight. Like, you just have to do it. It's, it's not a strategy <laughs> problem. What it is, is why aren't they doing it? It's because they have a story. And everyone does this. Entrepreneurs, you know, business people, everyone does this. When we get fearful, when we've tried something and we're not succeeding as fast as we want, when we are afraid of failing, we come up with a story about how it's not our fault or how we're going to do it in the future because then mm -hmm. we don't have to feel bad. Feeling bad makes us have to deal with it. Most people are overwhelmed, so they just they come up with a story about I tried everything. If you tried everything, you'd be fit. Right. <laughs> you'd be <helped. laughs> yeah. You know, I tried millions of things. Millions name them. Three things they did yeah. fifty times that don't work. Right. right. But I think if you can come up when you change the story, when you come up with a new set of beliefs, you'll find yourself finding the strategy or using the strategies that already work that are there. That right now your mind says, oh, it won't work. And the best way to change people, you got strategy, story, is state. And I always share this with business owners. You've got to be able to produce a different state in your people. There has to be something compelling. There has to be a sense of mission. Now I've got a really special bonus clip for you that I think you're gonna enjoy. But before that, it's time for a question of the day. I wanna know, what part of your story do you need to change? Leave your answers in the comments below. When I was at rock bottom, I didn't know that I was at rock bottom. And you can't really change what you're not aware of. And so it was like one of those things where it's like, can it get any worse? Bam! Can it get any worse? Bam! And it just, I kept asking the question, can it get any worse? I didn't know that what I was asking was causing my life. So it was to the point where either I die or I do something about it because it was like, I, I didn't have, my, 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 my daughter pretty much was like, you're not my father, you don't know what love is. My girlfriend had just broke up with me. And you know, my mother was pretty much, she had 16 different, um, what is it called? Me she was on 16 different medications. There was so much stuff going on and I'm watching all of these people be successful and I'm like, I'm more talented than them, and I don't understand why I'm still in the exact same spot, which I didn't know was rock bottom. And then it one day it just all came crashing down, and I was like, why am I here? I remember lying down in the middle of the road, and I'm like, I want to die like right now. And I stayed there, cars were driving by, honking and everything. And I don't know what happened in between that but literally my car had just got out of the impound. My mom had paid for it. She didn't even have much money, but somehow she would always do something for her baby boy. And she got my, she got my car out of the impound. The day I got my car out of the impound, that's when somebody had broke into my car. Like, and it was like, can it get any worse? And that night on La Brea, on the corner of La Brea in Hollywood, I'm at the, there's like this like little shopping center and I, my car was parked, my window was busted out to the right and, and literally it was raining, it was 3.43 in the morning, August 2011. And it was, I yelled out, eyes bloodshot red 
And I still didn't know that this was rock bottom, but I've always focused on what I don't want. And I just remember saying, okay, okay, I'm tired of fighting. I don't want to fight anymore. I want to be healthy. I want to be happy. I want to be surrounded by nothing but positive people. I just, I just want to inspire people and I want to make a bunch of money, but I want the money to represent something that I passionately believe in. Just show me a sign. Show me a sign. Show me. And I just kept saying it over and over and over. It wasn't until a week later until I, the, I met the, the man at the gas station and he asked me for money. And he said, and he said, do you have any money? He's just like, it was a homeless guy. And, I'm like, and he had a wad of money. I said, you have more money than me. And he goes, have you ever seen the movie Rain Man? The guy was talking to himself. Person did the exact same thing. He was like, change your mindset, change your life. Change your mindset, change your life. Change your mindset, change your life. Change your mindset. And then they walked away. And it was in that very moment, I felt like my whole entire life was a lie. Raise your standard. Apple at the core, its core value is that we believe that people with passion can change the world for the better. Not one drop of my self-worth depends on your acceptance of me. If you want more Tony, check out the eight pieces of life changing advice video that I did on him. I think you're really going to enjoy it. The link is right there next to me. Continue to believe and I'll see you there. This is the greatest time to be alive if you're growing, you're learning, you're educating and you're developing valuable skills.